Okay, so we are going to talk about BGC 17, episode 3. Um, I don't know why I keep doing this to myself, so I wait till last minute on Wednesday. I didn't do it on purpose today. I had to help Kelsey with some paperwork. I was doing stuff for my app. So, it's like last minute all the time, so I need to rush, even though I'd be blabbing my mouth and talking forever. I'm about to be late to class once again, just like last week. And y'all know I hate being late. Um, and then next week, so I'm going to move these pictures down, because it's making me really mad. You can't see how pretty they are, because I bought them for in here. So, I don't know if this trim... I don't know. I'm going to figure it out to where you can see it more next time. Oh, so the baby shower was a lot of fun. I went to Natalie's baby shower and I'm not going to tell you the whole Rocky situation yet because I don't have time to talk to you and I would like to do a separate video for that because I do have a lot to say about it. I don't know why it sounds like I'm talking so loud, like I'm screaming. Um, so I'm going to do a separate video tomorrow for you guys that I'll post and um, I'll tell you about the situation with Rocky and the baby shower and how everything went but it was a lot of fun okay so the beginning is you know I always get the titles wrong I got it right this time so the title is 24 hours in the BGC and this has been the most turn up 24 hours I've seen on Bad Girls Club, except for being in person, of course, when I got repeatedly jumped. Um, this is like the most action, and it's like action between multiple cast members, and I'm thinking like, is this because like they see somebody else getting all the attention, they want to get some attention too? I don't know what's going on, but this house is chaotic. It was a really good episode. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling about the light in here. I feel like I'm pale. Hold on, let me move this up. By the way, I love these pants. They're like, um, I wore these in Detroit. They're like flowers, but they kind of look like camouflage. They make my butt look big. <laughs> um, and they're really, really comfortable. Do I have more color? Maybe a little. Uh, all right. So the beginning, Kiera throws a drink in Sayora's face. And the security's pulling them apart. Next thing you know, we see Kiera basically dragging Sayora across the floor and screaming at her. I'm like, wow, this is a good way to start an episode. <laughs> like so much drama going on. Francesca then says she feels like it's a she's at a zoo and that there's a bunch of animals fighting and Susan is then so they, the fight breaks up and then Susan's in the room and she uh she goes into Sayora's room Sayora's in her bed like reading a book or something I don't know what the hell she's reading and she was like I will say nothing bitch say nothing she's like what like all the girls are just talking mad shit like it's a like it's a it, it for real is a zoo I don't even know where that came from so Susan after the fight with Kiara is starting a fight with Sayora and she's in her bed minding her business reading her book and Susan apparently wants to have some drama too this is all in hour one so hour two comes and all the girls are talking shit uh Sayora's keeping to herself in her room does Shayla does Shayla then bonds and I kept wanting to call her uh Brenisha, I like about to wrote Brenisha down. I was like, oh my god, what is her name? What is her name? Okay, so does Shayla bond with Kiara about her girlfriend back at home? And then next thing you know, we see them on the phone. They're arguing. And yeah, that girl back at home is pretty rude because does Shayla, and I've been in, oh, I've been in relationships like that. Does Shayla calls her girl back at home? She's like, what are you doing? The girl don't even say nothing. So I do feel how does Shayla feels a little bit. She's just like, you didn't call me last night. You didn't call me this morning. Bitch, I said, how are you doing? That is not an appropriate answer. Like, like, what are you doing? Are you brushing your teeth? Are you just... Okay, by the way, there's a thunderstorm. And Kiko is so scared of thunder, so he's been all up underneath me. He's so sweet. When there's thunderstorms, I have to move his bed um, next to my side of the bed, which is by the uh, bathroom, because he won't sleep at the window where his bed is now. He's so scared. He wants to be up under me, and i got to weave you in a minute. Okay, da, da da Kiki is torn between the two groups. She says she needs to choose a side. I feel like she's leaning more towards Sayora than she is with Kiara. And Kiora is very annoyed saying that Kiki isn't loyal because she feels like I fought her for you and now you're friends with her. Like, she's not feeling that non-loyalty thing. She's like one of those, like... I can understand in the Bad Girls Clubhouse, like, I don't feel like you need to pick a side in the Bad Girls Clubhouse because, like, you get to know each other, and it's like, just because she don't like her doesn't mean you need to like her and tag along. But in real life, that's the way I am. I'm an extremely loyal person, so if you're an enemy of a good friend of mine, which they haven't known each other that long, so you, they're not even good friends at this point, you know what I mean? 
So I think real life does not pertain to the Bad Girls Club in that sense of having someone's back. If you're my friend in real life, whoever your enemy is or who's trying to hurt you, I'm not going to fuck with them. I'm not going to talk to them. I'm not going to be buddy-buddy, like kiki in with them, none of th nothing like that. Because, like, my loyalty is to you. I don't want you to feel some type of way. And I don't want them to feel like they have the upper hand. Like, if you're picking on my friends and being rude, like, I'm not going to be your friend. I mean, if you just don't like her and you don't mess with her and whatever, I can be your friend like that's cool but if you're purposely going out of your way to do mean stuff to her and cause her harm like there's no way I would even try to be your friend so it's like I kind of see where Kira is coming from but not really because she's friends with Susan and they all fought and it's like who cares you guys been friends for like two days like it's not about loyalty in that sense as long as she's not going behind your back and talking shit to you y'all can mix match friends you don't have to be like up under somebody all day long it's so weird to me okay so the girls go and get their nails done and seven gets waxed Apparently for the first time and she's like it feels like I'm having my soul ripped out I know how you feel I used to wax my neck you know I'm growing this hair out it's it's almost grown out I shaved it for a while and then I was waxing it yeah that shit hurts you think your vagina hurts no I waxed my vagina before that don't hurt that bad when you when you do the back of your neck <laughs> come holla at me I used to uh I waxed Kelsey's back before her lower back because she's got like a lot a lot of peach fuzz and I waxed my dad my dad almost he screamed. He screamed like a little girl. So yeah, waxing is no joke. It like ripped my dad's skin off too. It like ripped the dirt off of his skin. He had like clean fresh skin underneath. Okay, so Kiki. Okay, I already said that. So you are calls her ex Lionel. Lionel. She really wants him to come because she's having a hard time in the house. The girls go to eat pizza, and they're talking about how the waitress is so cute, and Seven's like kind of hitting on her, but then the waitress gives the number to Deshayla, and I'm like... Y'all really, like, stunting this waitress like that? I mean, maybe they seeing something I don't see, but, like, I like girls. I like looking at girls. I like appreciating girls. And when their personality is good, that makes them look even more attractive to me. Sometimes they have sex appeal, and they're actually not even that physically pretty, but the sex appeal or their personality makes them pretty. So maybe they saw something I didn't see because I was not, like, all attracted to the waitress like they were saying. I don't know what they were saying. They just ain't had no sex in a while so they just just doing any old thing all right so Kiara they get back and Kiara then hangs up the phone on Deshayla's girl because Deshayla's getting upset and crying on the phone she's like even when you try you get angry and that's annoying too it's like well why do I even try because you're gonna be angry if I don't try you're gonna be angry if I try I might as well not put any effort in and just don't try at all like no so Sarah hangs up the phone and then the phone rings and she hangs up the phone it's Lionel She's like, she can't have any phone calls. She got her ass beat. Oh my God, it's so rude. She hangs up on him three times, the poor guy, but at least he knows better. Like he's seen the show. So he knows like, okay, she really cannot not answer the phone. Like this girl's just being a bitch. We then see Sayor bonding with Kiki saying, Kiki says, you'll eat pretty much whatever. It shows that you've been through a lot. And of course, Sayor is talking to about her family and her family wanting to adopt, I believe her cousins and bring them here. I'm not sure what country they're from. So we get to see another side of Sayora, and at this point, because we're getting to see her, you guys know Susan was my favorite at first, but I'm really starting to feel Sayora. Like, I think she's cute. I like the fact that I don't feel like she's trying so hard. I feel like she, yes, yeah, she is defending herself. I don't feel like she's causing unnecessary drama. I like that we're seeing more of her side. I like that she's not bougie. She's sitting on the floor. She's eating. She's not being all picky, stuck up. So I don't know. I'm really, really fe feeling uh, Sayora at this point. She's actually... My favorite up to this point. Okay. Now Kiara starts yelling at Kiki, saying she'll beat her up. She beat up Sayora for Kiki, and she thought that that was her bitch. So now they fighting. I don't know. We like seven hours in. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, so now the keys basically break up momentarily. Friend says to Kiara, I don't, I don't think you should be yelling at Kiki. And Kiara says to Friend, like, I'll cuss you out too. She's like, oh, hold up. So I'm waiting to see Friend's other side because she keeps saying, like, well, I'm going to say something next time. It's going to come out of me. So I'm waiting to see that because I, I feel like she is going to flip. <laughs> she going to flip eventually because we might man her no attention. She like in between the clicks. She ain't getting no attention. But she is getting some camera time because Susan ain't getting no camera time even though episode one was the Susan show. Susan kind of fell off the map. Okay, so Lionel then calls again. He's on the way. Sierra already knows that it was Kiara hanging up on him. And Kiara starts fighting in the beauty room with Kiki. I'm like, damn, this bitch just want to fight, fight, fight. And it is funny. So I said this was a really good point. Seven is calling Kiki out saying, you want you wanted drama, and now that you have it, you don't want it. That is so true because I feel like Kiki was being a bully the first two episodes, and now that the drama's coming 
to her from somebody that's like physically equal or stronger being Kiara. Now she don't want no part of the drama. Now she want to be cool and friends and whatever. It's like she started something that she couldn't finish. So now she don't want the drama. And I completely agree with Seven on that point. So all the girls go to the rooftop. No, not all the girls. Some of the girls and Lionel, when he comes, go to the rooftop. Kiara makes the comment, like, she's like, oh, his big square head. I don't know. I think Lionel's cute. So she makes the comment. Um, she grabs the bottle, like, all happy, like, oh, I need to mix this with something. He's like, oh, the red cup's downstairs. I brought red cups. She's like, oh, you brought this? I don't want it no more. Like, bitch, he ain't even do nothing to you. Like, calm your ass down. But she don't want to drink. Um, she's being rude to Lionel. Lionel and Sayora walk off together, and then we see Kiki and Key basically making up. They're talking with, like, Fran in the middle as if she doesn't even exist on this damn show. It's like the two tables talking. I'm sitting here like, <laughs> with no input whatsoever. So they making up. They uh, Kiki, Kate, Kiera apologizes to Kiki, and they cool again. So they was, like, not friends for, like, two hours. A little bit of drama. Okay, Lionel then says... The girls go out to the club, Lionel and Sayora at home, and he tells her, you better not quit. If anything, you better get kicked off for fighting, or I won't fuck with you no more. She's like, yeah, right. He goes, well, no, nah, I'll fuck with you, but uh, actually, I'll probably still do it the same, and I'll make me feel better, or you feel better, so I guess. But, yo, that was funny. Yeah, I don't know. I agree with that. Like, girls, the only reason a girl should leave Bad Girls Club, I feel like, is if they're physically hurt to where they can't stay like it would have made sense for Flo to leave after she like broke her damn ankle and was hopping around the damn house but she was a trooper she stayed I would have stayed too I would have been on my crutches staying too like fuck y'all bitches <laughs> so if you're physically like really extremely physically hurt or if a family emergency happened back at home I would say those are the only two reasons that you should quit because you put all this work in and went to these castings and you know you know what you're signed up for there's been 16 damn seasons you know what this is all about so you shouldn't quit um so i agree with him like if you get if you leave and you should be kicked off the show or leaving for a family emergency or because you are physically too hurt to stay there that's it period all right the girls go out and the east coast is getting points they all having fun kiki and key are cool again kira then comes home and she's screaming she's like it's time for your company to go home she's being rude as fuck she says kiki then whispers to her like stop and, of course, she doesn't stop. She just keeps going. Sarah gets out of bed, and she's like, uh, all right, well, let's fight then. And Lionel's laying in the bed. He's kind of like, what is even going on? They arguing back and forth. Lionel then gets up out of bed. It looks like just because he don't want to be sitting there. Not sort of aggressive anyway. He's not even saying anything. Um, and Kiara makes it seem like he's trying to do, oh, you don't stand up in our house. He's a human being. What do you mean your house? Like, you can't tell somebody not to stand up. He's not even coming for you. And it looked like for a moment, Kiara was coming at Lionel. And I was like, what? She's like, he ain't even gonna touch you. Like, you a girl. He's a man. Like, what are you doing? Kiara doing way too much um, right now. She does. She is. She's the bully of the house. She's doing way too much. Kiki then is upset that Lionel has to leave. And Kiara says, his weak ass. And I like that Sayora Se stood up for him. She's like, he's not weak. And then, of course, Kiara swings on him. They fight, and then Susan says she loves seeing, and I swear she said the name Sarah. I rewind it three times. She said, I love seeing Sarah get her ass kicked. It's funny. Her name ain't Sarah. It's Sayora. What? It's not, it's not Sarah. I'm Sarah. It's not Sarah. Okay, Kiki is crying. She says that she's basically trying to, like, break the two up from fighting. She's like, has her arms around Kira since they best buddies again, but not really. Fran is putting ice on Sierra's face. She's got, like, a little cut between her eyebrows. And uh, the producer sends Kiara to the hotel, which I completely agree, agree with. I hope she gets sent home. Um, now I'm mad at Kiki again saying, bitch, you don't have nothing to say. Now I'm mad at Kiki? Now I'm mad at Kiki. Oh! Kiara is now mad at Kiki again saying, bitch, you don't have nothing to say. I don't know. It's all over the place. Kiki is crying, and she doesn't want Kiara to go home. And then Seven come down the stairs in a damn race. She wants part of this drama and these fights on episode three. And she's pissed. She's saying that, this is hour 22, guys. And she's like, but you wanted all this drama, but now that it's here, you don't want it. And y'all weren't even friends earlier. Now you're friends. Now you're crying. You don't want her to go home. Like, what is really going on? Friend says, what's going on? Seven tells Friend to stay out of it. So once again, Friend's in the back. Like, it's the two tables talking, and Friend's just sitting there like, <laughs> she can't say nothing. They walk it all over that poor girl. I need a friend to snap quick. So now Seven is pissed and she's saying, bitches don't disrespect me like this. I'm getting so upset. Bitches don't disrespect me in real life and da da da. And I'm thinking like, 
Um, I feel like nobody disrespected her. Maybe something happened that we didn't see. I mean, I can understand if you're saying you don't believe, you're upset that Kiki kind of flipped and Kiki started drama, and then now Kiki argued with Kira, and now Kiki and Kira are friends again, and you feel like she's taking your friend. I don't know. But I think it's weird. She was like, they disrespected me. I've never been disrespected. Because I didn't see her get disrespected. So I don't know where that came from. Um, if you know how she got disrespected, please comment below. Maybe I'll sell something I didn't see. Maybe she posted something on Twitter. I don't know if it's real or not. But I didn't see Seven get disrespected. So she coming out the woodwork with this, you disrespected me shit. All right. So it's the end of the 24 hours. And Seven goes to the hotel. Oh, yeah. So they start to kind of fight. And it looks like Seven goes to the hotel. I don't remember that, but I did write it down, so apparently that's what happened, according to my notes. Can you go over here whining? He's trying to mess up the rug. Okay, so next week, I don't know what happened. Did the Shayla spit in um in Fran's face? Fran says something like, oh, did you not brush your teeth or your breast stinks? And it looked like she spit in her face. And then it looks like they're about to fight. I don't know if they're in the closet or what. It came and gave me like flashbacks of Red with Judy. We in the closet. Like, <laughs> what? I hope she didn't spit in her face. That's disgusting. If she spit in her face, I'm done with her. I ain't gonna like her the rest of the season because I'm completely against spitting in someone's face. That grosses me out so bad. All right, so to your questions. Holy shit, I gotta go. Get off this page. Go to my page. So, yes, guys, I will do your... I'll do a video talking about the baby shower um, tomorrow. And let's go to questions. Okay, Rick Raider with two R says, mention how your day was with Rocky for the first time. I will tell you later. Uh, Gondolaria says, talk about the same thing. Um, <laughs> I wasn't ready just well. I, oh my God, everybody's just saying how great I look. Thank you, by the way. And that they want to hear about Rocky. They go into the gym. Okay, simply underscore Sarah says, do you like Shay? I don't really have feelings about her. If she did spit on Fran, I don't really like her. I don't know. She's just kind of neutral to me, even though she's not neutral. Like, Fran's neutral, but I like Fran more than her at this point. I feel like I haven't gotten enough of her yet. Who do you think is the baddest so far, and who do you dislike so far? This is Alex underscore G-R-T-I-3-R-R-3-Z-V-V. -R -R Quit making these weird-ass names. What the hell does your name mean? I need to know. So, who do I think is the baddest so far, and who do I dislike so far? So, I made emojis of them. So, my favorite so far on this episode is Sayora, and my least favorite is Kiara. Oh, her bully himself. So, look, I made little emojis of them. Top is my least fave. The bottom is my fave. And if you guys don't know, this is from my app Emoji Me. You can download it on iPhone. Android is almost finished. In the App Store, go to SoEmojiMe.com, and you click on the Apple and then it'll download and you can make anything that you want, your face, other people's faces, into an emoji. And let me get one more. It's Baby M-E-R-R -R, says, do you think Kiki is being real about her not wanting anyone to fight when she been looking for drama since the beginning or because she knows that if the drama occurs, she'll be blamed for it. And I love you so much. I love you too. I think she wanted drama. She wanted to pick on people that she felt like is weaker than her, that she can intimidate. Kiara is the more intimidating one out of her and Kiki. So now that the stronger personality is coming after her. I think she doesn't want the drama anymore. So I feel like it's a cop-out because of, you know, and now she's trying to be Sayora's savior and be on that team, which I like that because at least it's not like Kiki and Kiara bullying the whole house. So I like that it's divided like this. I'm having mixed feelings about Kiki. I do like her better this episode than I liked her previously, but I do feel like she's a punk for not wanting the drama anymore. And all right, guys, I have to go to class. I will do your other video later, and I love you guys. Bye.